Minerals are inorganic substances like those you'd find on the periodic table. Common examples would be iron or calcium or sodium or potassium. In general, in the human body, minerals are important for structures like teeth or bones, for body fluids. They're cofactors for enzymes and they're major components of proteins and hormones. And some minerals are especially important to help promote joint health. So what's osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is the degeneration and deterioration of the joint, specifically of cartilage, synovium, and subchondral bone. Cartilage is the fluffy ends of bones that are important for shock absorption. And as cartilage deteriorates, it loses the shock absorbing property. Synovium is the layer outside the cartilage that provides fluid for smooth motion and also helps nourish the joint. As synovium deteriorates, it grows, it becomes inflamed, producing too much fluid that causes pain and stiffness and also releasing chemical factors that aggravate pain symptoms. Subchondral bone is the layer of bone underneath the cartilage and it's very important for joint strength. As subchondral bone deteriorates and degenerates, it becomes rough and ragged, causing the joint to no longer have a smooth arc of motion. The reasons that you get osteoarthritis are multifactorial, but there are certain factors that drive the degeneration and deterioration. Chronic low-grade inflammation, free radical induced oxidative stress, and the cartilage's inability to create new healthy cartilage. So what minerals can you take to potentially prevent, mitigate, and reverse some of the signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis? Boron, element number five on the periodic table. Extensive boron deposits are found in the areas near Turkey, Uzbekistan, and closer to home in the Mojave Desert. Boron is an incredibly versatile element that forms over 230 chemical compounds. I refer to boron as an essential trace element. Essential in the sense that it plays crucial roles in multiple fundamental biologic processes in humans, and trace in the sense that relatively smaller amounts of boron are needed in the human body compared to the more ever-present minerals such as iron, calcium, and phosphorus. So how does boron promote joint health? Firstly, boron positively impacts magnesium utilization and vitamin D regulation. This leads to activation of various enzymes that boost the intrinsic strength, shock absorbing properties, and resilience of cartilage. Additionally, it has been hypothesized that boron prevents the rapid degradation of steroid sex hormones, examples being estrogen and testosterone. Optimal sex hormone levels enhance joint health. Finally, boron boosts the function of two powerful endogenous antioxidizing agents, glutathione peroxidase and superoxide dismutase. These amped up cell protectors effectively and efficiently disarm destructive free radicals that cause calamitous harm to cartilage and synovial cells. So what's some evidence to support the use of boron to promote joint health? Interestingly, Australian researchers conducted a double-blind pilot study in which study participants were treated with supplementation of boron 6 mg per day for 8 weeks. One out of two participants in the treatment group reported decreased joint pain, decreased joint swelling, and an increase in joint range of motion. Top sources of boron are prunes, raisins, almonds, peanuts, avocado, hazelnuts, dates, peanut butter, red beans, and lentils. In terms of categories, think dried fruits, nuts, and legumes. Population studies suggest that individuals from areas of high boron intake, which the authors of these studies define as equal to or greater than 6 milligrams, were 70% less likely to develop osteoarthritis. On average, most people in the United States intake only 1.2 milligrams. The natural soil and water conditions in the U.S. render a goal of 6 milligrams extremely challenging. The supplementation might make sense. Magnesium is very important to our body's function, playing a role in more than 300 biochemical reactions. Magnesium is the fourth most common mineral on the earth. Magnesium is vital, required, and absolutely necessary for the substance chlorophyll, highlighting its important role in nature. Our body contains about 25 grams of magnesium, 50 to 60 percent of which is stored in the bone, and the rest is found in muscle, soft tissues, and body fluids. 
Sadly, studies have found that about 50% of the U.S. adult population gets less than the recommended daily amount of magnesium. There are four main mechanisms in which magnesium promotes joint health. Magnesium is an antioxidant, it boosts cartilage health, it boosts subchondral bone health, and it demonstrates anti-pain properties. Magnesium is necessary for the production of glutathione. Glutathione is one of the body's best natural defenses against oxidative stress and free radical injury. Inappropriate calcium mineralization of cartilage is a hallmark of unhealthy joints. Magnesium enhances the production of special calcium binding proteins called matrix GLA proteins. These proteins capture free calcium, limiting the likelihood of calcium crystals forming and injuring cartilage. Additionally, magnesium boosts the function of a fastener protein called integrin that helps give cartilage strength and resilience. Magnesium boosts the production of hydroxyapatite, which acts like bone cement. Hydroxyapatite is a substance that gives subchondral bone strength so it can resist daily wear and tear. Experts believe magnesium likely inhibits NMDA pain receptor activation. Muscle and joint pain are communicated to the brain through stimulation of NMDA pain receptors. Magnesium may act to stymie NMDA activation by modulating the voltage and current across the NMDA triggering mechanism. This results in decreased electrical activity and decreased pain. Low levels of magnesium have been linked to knee osteoarthritis in multiple studies. Researchers in China looked at the dietary magnesium intake of close to 3,000 Chinese people. The participants who consumed the most magnesium, on average 350 mg per day, were a whopping 75% less likely to develop knee arthritis. Rich sources of magnesium include pumpkin seeds, spinach, Swiss chard, soybeans, sesame seeds, black beans, quinoa, cashews, sunflower seeds, and beet greens. In terms of categories, think nuts, seeds, legumes, and dark green leafy vegetables. A good target dose for magnesium is 420 mg per day, the recommended dietary allowance. This can readily be achieved by many types of food combinations. I especially enjoy a large spinach salad with black beans and pumpkin seeds. Manganese. As the story goes, in ancient times, manganese and magnesium were primarily mined in magnesia in modern-day Greece. Manganese is a transitional metal. This means that manganese can easily accept and donate electrons, making manganese important for physiologic processes that build new structures, energy production, and the body's natural antioxidant mechanisms. Manganese is considered a trace mineral, meaning that only tiny amounts are required to maintain a healthy body, but manganese plays an outside role in well-being. No more than 20 milligrams of manganese can be found in our body, mostly concentrated in the pancreas, kidneys, liver, and bones. Manganese supports joint health by three main mechanisms. It acts as an antioxidant, it enhances cartilage health, and it boosts collagen health. Manganese is a vital component of properly functioning superoxide dismutase. Superoxide dismutase is one of the body's best defenses against free radicals derived from hyperreactive oxygen. Manganese pairs up with superoxide dismutase in the mitochondria, the power generator of the cell. It's in the mitochondria that the majority of free radicals are generated. In the absence of sufficient manganese, the mitochondria might be overwhelmed by destructive oxygen radicals that results in permanent damage to the cell. There is solid scientific consensus that the mitochondrial injury is a driving force behind cellular aging and a risk factor for chronic degenerative diseases such as arthritis. Manganese is the preferred cofactor for the enzymes called glycosyl transferases. As the name implies, glyco means related to sugar, transfer means to move from one place to another, and ace means a biologic enzyme. These groups of enzymes move sugars to and from carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These biologic agents are necessary for the manufacturing of the all-important cartilage extracellular matrix proteoglycans and glycosaminoglycans, examples of which are glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. These molecules help equip cartilage with the attributes needed to resist compressive loads and to promote optimal shock absorbing properties. Manganese is a required cofactor for prolidase, a rate limiting enzyme for the biosynthesis of collagen. Without manganese, collagen cannot be synthesized. Recall that collagen is a major component of the scaffold that keeps cartilage strong and healthy. 
Navy researchers investigated the effectiveness of a treatment cocktail that included a combination of manganese, vitamin C, glucosamine, and chondroitin for the treatment of osteoarthritis. These scientists performed a 16-week randomized double-blind placebo control study. At the completion of the study, the treatment group reported statistically significant decreased pain and improved function. Excellent sources of manganese include pumpkin seeds, spinach, cloves, oats, brown rice, garbanzo beans, pineapple, soybeans, tofu, and walnuts. A laudable target daily dose is 2.3 milligrams, which can be easily achieved by a bowl of oatmeal and a cup of pineapple.